Hi guys, welcome to the system here. The video is about the Arconix Tweet tool. I've made it my goal in July and August of 2021 to learn Python and program and make tools like the Arconix Desktop Trasher, the Welcome app. Um, what do we have uh, more? The Calamaris tool that we don't use anymore. And of course, Arconix Tweet tool, right? So learning to program is, is great and once I'm ready i'll share all my knowledge you know that now the control alt e is our button right that launches the tweak tool and if there are issues you start any app out there in linux from a terminal and hope to see to see what's going on the new thing that we have now is the fixes so it's always interesting to have a button that actually does uh, repair something or does something or configure something so this is, will be the tab to put actually our own scripts in there right because we have scripts that help you in the article next, if in that department those are kind of scripts that might help um, launch things or something like that so in here we have these words uh, well words uh, scripts that we launch and Behind the button is the fix keys. We had that in middle of uh, beginning of August, I think. Uh, everything changed, and we made a little script that says, "Come on, let's fix the keys again because it's an essential part of Arch Linux keys, and it's the most troublesome always, right? Uh, people get stuck there. So a small button to say, "Boom, run our script." Basically, it just does that. Nothing more, nothing less. It will install Alacrity, so if we don't have it, we need to have something, right? We need to have a tool, a terminal to run our script in. So Alacrity is by default, so will be our default terminal, and Termite surely will go out over time, but we'll keep it in as long as it works, because we have beautiful themes for Termite, right? Lots of them, lots and lots and lots of them. Would be a pity to lose them. So that's the fix one article next fix backman keys if you see strange things happening errors and all that but then again right it's is still common sense it there is no magic button it, it runs some scripts and it does some things but it is still analyzing okay what's wrong with my machine etc etc now sometimes we have the uh, servers that are not okay so the end mirror list is what we do we have a look and we see that the pacman so our package manager is going to look at this list and it's going to take the first that's it and it stops there everything now is coming from osbeck nothing else if there is one package that fails in osbeck so it's not been synced to that server then it will go to the second, and then to the third, etc. Right? That's how it works. So this is the only server in all these lines, and there are lots of lines that will be used. If I say set Osbeck, it's just the one. Because we know by experience after four years that Osbeck is the best. A very good server. Right? Never say the best. A very good server. So if I say set Osbeck, again a script eh, has uh, run did run in the background and when we say control x arrow up enter that's it that's only it and for us no issue that will always work well eh, never say always but that's a good server on the other hand if you want to go back to more servers then you say get arch mirrors again but it will take a while because it really is going to a lot of um, servers I think the, the, the amount there is 100 so it will take the time it takes in the meantime we'll explain something else and we'll check back what he found and he will just um, organize all these servers that he is now pinging and asking the, the time the speed and all that and see what it what the result will be probably Osbeck will be again top list so that's the rating, the finding out what's the fastest server of Arch Linux, guys. Always think about Arch Linux. Uh, that's what he's, he's doing here because it's Pacman, right? The Pacman mirror list. 
So in the meantime, we are more developing in SDDM here as well, which I can't go into because the thing is busy. <laughs> um, so yeah, hi data, you're in the, in the video. <laughs> Let's close some things here quit Discord. Where's Telegram? Telegram is not started. Okay, so we won't be bothered. Um, the thing is that um, we are, of course, are creating the ArcLinux 2e tool for our machines, right? We're working on Arc, Arc Linux, not on Arch Linux. So the SDM error that people have from time to time is because of the fact that the, I think, right, we're assuming and we get positive uh, responses that the ETC SDDM conf is wrong somehow, is empty that I fixed. If it's empty, it will be filled with hours. If it's not present, we will put hours. But if it's filled, then it's it might contain something that's just not, um, well, that crashes the Arconix tweak tool. So the message is very clear. You need to get uh, and apply the SDM dot com from Arcolex. So let's first have a look at the mirror list. So it, it does take a while, but does the, that really doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is do I get the fastest server? And that's Osbeck again, as I was thinking would happen, right? Score 100, fastest 10, number 10. With these 10, well, we'll be good, right? Because this one always contains everything for the one package that's not yet synced there will go there and there and there etc okay so that's the mirror list we can close that one yes sure sure close so i was talking about sedm back to that display manager login manager that's what it's called it's like lightm it's like uh, mdm gdm lxdm SDM by default is everywhere on Arclinx, 22 desktops, default. At some point we did it because LightDM gave some issues with for users with the Intel package, I believe it was. So I said, okay, SDM is less prone to crash. So let's go for that. Now, <coughs> the Plasma, um, so I was saying that there are many possibilities and we are developing the tool of course for Arclinx. We're testing it of course on Arclinx and nothing else. So people who have changed manually some things in the etc SDM conf that might uh, be the reason why it's crashing but you'll see when you launch the Arclinx tweet tool from the terminal what the reason is. So here we have a button apply the SDM conf from Arclinx or apply your backup of sdm.com. So once you apply something, if you say, I'm going to write something, I'm going to say, auto login looks good, plasma, there's only plasma. So I click tweet tool, desktop, awesome, install it. And you see a list of two. And then we have your choices, but it's just the Arclinx sugar candy that's there. And you may like the other one, Materia, so you're gonna say, I'm gonna install the other themes. That's the meta package, Arclinux meta SDM themes. And we refresh the list, basically. It's a reload of the tweet tool. Then you'll see that there is more. So this is one that I like. It's the blue one from Arclinux Materia. And I say, I wanna auto login. I wanna have Plasma for auto login. I wanna have this theme. And then we can apply and when we apply, the backup will have been created. The old one will be there and will contain the candy. So if something is, is terribly wrong, um, this is the SDM conf from Arch Linux. But if everything crashes, right, I suppose this will not pop up at all. So the SDM conf, one, it's online, two, there is a extra folder that we've created. So in the root user local and then share Arclex. We have here the Arclex mirror list, the SDM conf and more if we need them. So these are the important files 
what we start with and when you mess them up we have here a content uh, uh, the original one and this is what it should look like so take a look at your own sdm.conf if you've been editing it yourself this is basically coming from the developer eh? so the, the package sdm uh, they give us a, oh, I think it's called default, sdm.default or something, or .config default, something like that. So this is a copy paste and basically every line is in there that they say should be in there. And the only thing we're gonna do is look for the word session and say, okay, it has to be plasma user, it's gonna be Eric and also the current theme. And that's it, all right? So that's that, and that's the new um, thing. And then the fixes is the newest guy around. Um, we ran everything, set everything, did everything. So please, if you have more issues with the SDDM or Arch Linux tweak tool not booting up, best way, launch it from the tweak tool, put it on the form. To give the output, control C, control V, put it on there and uh, we can try and analyze things. But because every thing, every consistency, every every scenario has to be tested. What if SDM is not there? Cover that. What if SDM.conf is not there? Cover that. What if SDM.conf is empty? Cover that. But there will be more scenarios that I haven't thought of that will result maybe in, in, in a crash or something. So we need to really think everything to every scenario that's out there so that um, everything is working. You'll see, for example, if um, SDM is not installed and SDM conf is not there, this will be just empty. And it will say three buttons there, install SDM, install our config, and one more, which I forgot. So we'll, with, we're thinking about scenarios, right? If this, then that, if this, then that, if this, then that. So if there's a, something that's happening on your machine because of, right? Tell us, tell us, simple as that. All right, cheers, have fun.